this is Bhavna and you're watching India today. I bet all of us have grown up watching, listening to this at least once in our lifetime that big girls don't cry. Well, here's a team who is redefining that sentence completely. I'm very happy to be joined by them here on India today. The team of big girls don't cry. First Thank year, you. huge welcome. Thank you. Thank How are you? I have to tell you, I mean, the moment I heard the title, I was just like, of course I've heard it at least <laughs> once in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that big girls don't cry because independent women are supposed to be strong, which means invariably not cry, right? Nitya, I want to know when you decided that this is what the title of the show is going to be, or I'm sure after multiple drafts, uh, I want to know what is it that, to me, it's a metaphorical uh, way of just saying that, you know, uh, there's no big deal when it comes to just crying and letting go and just embracing yourself at the end of it. But what was your idea behind saying that, okay, this is what best represents the story and the and the narrative that you want to tell? Well, actually, it was right there in the script. Hmm. Uh, there is, uh, I don't think we want to talk, I mean, give it out, but uh, the girls run a underground business. I saw that. I've yeah, seen the Yeah, post and they call it that. It was there. Uh, and, um, and so, actually, it's not... I, I think the title is a lot more than the literal translation. Yeah, absolutely. Right? I find it. Like it is. It's really simple because at the end of the day, like cry those buckets yeah, as you want. But you know, once the tears do dry up, and they always do. <laughs> yeah, they always do. Yeah. Uh, you got to get up, and you got to just own whatever's happened to you, hmm. and run with it. That's true. And I think I think with this girl story. That's exactly what they'll end up doing. Yeah. So cry your heart out, but don't let that become your story. Don't let that be the thing that defines you. You've yeah. got to get up because life just doesn't give you any choices. And if you have a serious sisterhood around you, it's just that much simpler. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think one of the prime examples, Pooja, uh, I feel that you have been that person who has stood up for what you want. And we have also seen you be yourself and just tell your story and own it in public, right? How much did you resonate with that story overall? Because I feel that you are someone who in literal terms at this point will define like big girls don't cry, <laughs> but you have literally done and redefined that term completely in your personal life with the kind of stories you have told on screen as well. Thank you, that's kind. Uh, I think that that's what life is all about. It's not that you don't fall apart. You are meant to fall apart. You are meant to kind of, you know, feel excruciatingly vulnerable and alone. Absolutely. But from that comes something. Hmm. I think that is what people try to avoid a lot in the times that we live in. Hmm. You know, it's all about perfection, all about kind of glossing things over. Hmm. Anything deep is kind of written off as being kind of, you know, philosophical, like it's a bad word. Yeah. So I think that that's where life is really uh, enriching. And I think that it's these, those times. So courage is not something that you're born with. Absolutely. I mean, you it happens to, to you. It, you have yeah. to fall. You have to get up. You have to fall. You have to get up. You've got to make mistakes. You make the same mistakes over and over and over again. Yeah. And then from that comes something. Yeah. So I think that I've learned the hard way. I've fallen hard, but I've bounced higher. And I've been unafraid to kind of make a complete ass of myself. Uh, and I've, I've, I've not felt the desire or the need to kind of hide who I inherently am from the world. Yeah. It was too exhausting for me. And uh, I, 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 I just found it too silly that I will try to hide a facet of my personality and you will take that much more time to find out that, that, and that facet and then use it against me. Yeah. So I think it's easier just to be you because everyone else is taken, you know, and it's, it's a great blurb, but that's exactly what the world does not allow you to be, is yeah. be yourself. So I think what drew me to this and uh, what, I, what, I, what resonated with me was everybody here, whether it's Anita Varma, the principal, or all of them, they, each one of them has their battles, yeah. you know, and age might separate them. I mean, the nature of the problem might be different, but each one has got something that they're struggling with. Yeah. And eventually the answers lie within you. Absolutely. You know, I mean, you, you have to walk that path on your own. So I think that, that's, that's what drew me in. And the fact that it's just what it is yeah. and not trying to be, you know, I think you said earlier that it's not trying to be, it's not, there's no shock value. There's no yeah, attempt yeah. to put in this or that because they're trying to, you know, to force a reaction yeah. from the audience. It's just growing pains. It's real people with real problems. Yeah. And if that's too underwhelming for you, then you know what? 
Then then there's a problem somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Then that person has really been living in a Delulu land, uh, if I may put it in general. More than life has been too tough, (laughs) perhaps, you know. No, but you know, another, my favorite part of the series is the fact that it's all women. I mean, of course, there are men as well. There is no world without that. But what I mean is that headlined by these strong, powerful women, um, and enriching this entire idea of sisterhood because for long we have always seen uh, even when there are too many women involved in certain projects it's always been projected or at least in most times it's difficult to project it in the right way for example celebrating sisterhood how often do we see that happening each character going through a different struggle altogether but what really brings them together is that inherence and there's competition it's not like they're all very yeah. uh, not flawed characters they're all flawed characters but what brings them together is that feeling of sisterhood which i feel is amazing not many shows really highlight that exactly. in the right spirit um we'll start with the cast here on that aspect uh how in how special was it to be a part of a project like that because i I think we need to be inspired by what we see on screen and this is what inspires me when I watch it. What about you? Like, What do you take away from? I think just getting to go to set every day just with all of my best friends. Yeah. I think that's like it's such a unique experience. Like there was never like a day where they didn't get me through it, you know. And I just female friendships are just so sacred and unique and they come from this place of just complete understanding of one another. Yeah. And I think nothing can really like replace that Absolutely. for me personally and just yeah, that just was wonderful. Like, <laughs> what about your wife? Is that like she said, female friendships are wonderful, but also very uh, under to I mean, the it's it's not really celebrated as much as male friendships are, especially on celluloid. What is it that you take away from? I think like let, maybe I think we are often also more critical of female friendships just because I think the Bo, uh, right. there are so many yeah. stereotypes yeah. I think so and many. the world um, benefits a lot from pushing Absolutely. that narrative yeah. because I think when women come together a lot is changed and for the better um, and I think that people are scared of change and people are scared of these systems breaking down um, and I think this show embraces the fact that it is really tough to trust the people around you, even if they are women. Yeah. Um, but if you throw yourself into that, there's really magical things that come out of it. And I was saying before, even for me as a as a personal experience, coming onto the show, this was the first show I ever did where there was like a predominantly female cast. Yeah. Um, and it was very scary. I came late, like I, I came joined later. And so yeah. I was very intimidated by the nature of, of what these relationships could be. But it had blossomed into something so beautiful. And I think that that sets the tone and sets the example for, for how beautiful sisterhood can be. Absolutely. After, Pooja ji, I'm going to come to you. Yeah. After all of this. I don't know, please. <laughs> after. No, no, I absolutely agree with what Akshita and Avantika said. I think we've found friendships that are so valuable you know like fr- i thought that you make friends in school you make friends in college and you know those are the friends you carry along for a lifetime yeah but on this set i realized that no this is my new school these are my new school friends and this is also the friendship that i'm going to carry for a lifetime yeah so this is very special absolutely um i think Playing Kavya and being here is such a blessing and the fact that you get to give lessons like you know we all are we all have such different journeys and different stories but the way that the show has been created it's like they're showing us all the problems and all the things that are not right you know or that doesn't feel right yeah I don't feel good enough but they're also showing the turning of the page. Yeah. Ki, you know, this is how it can be dealt with. So I feel the uh, enormous amount of, like, I feel inspired. Like, when I read the script, I was like, this is really inspiring. Yeah. It's not just a show which would entertain you. It would also give you bits and pieces of information or wisdom, not directly throwing it at you, but it's the way that... blended, yeah. Yeah, so I completely agree because I just want to take that forward. One of my ma- most favorite parts is when uh, uh, her character, Pluggy, Pluggy. Pluggy she fat shames herself because uh, the entire, <laughs> I mean, society makes you believe that you're not, you don't fit in because of your size. 
and the friends around her are actually telling her that why you're perfect why do you want to like fit in you're perfect the way you are and i felt that was so nice and encouraging uh, i just i and it's not like thrown at our face saying that oh you need to embrace yourself it is something that you subtly take away when exactly. you're watching that yeah, i think when you tell honest stories and you have characters that have dimension yeah. are so fleshed out those messages i say like organically yeah. come out only without having to be preachy yeah Yeah. But uh, also, what did you take away? Like, um, I mean, they've said so much. They yeah. really take the words thing, out of my mouth. But I think one thing that was really fun for me, and one of the girls mentioned it earlier, actually, was this kind of a surreal experience of trying to figure out and asking each other, like, oh, which boy is playing your love interest? <laughs> Because you're the main yeah. character, and everybody else is yeah. linked to you through the tree of the character. So I think yeah. that was just like a really fun little thing to experience <laughs> for the first time ever. Like everybody being linked to. You as opposed to the other way around. Oh, yeah. that's actually cute. I would say. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Yeah. What about you? I thought it was going to be very difficult and challenging for me because I've never done something like this before. Yeah. But the cast, the directors, the creative team—they made it so easy for me. It—it it felt like home away from home. That's a that's very sweet thing to say, actually. Yeah, they asked. Lastly, Anith. <laughs> Anith. Um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Too much has been said, but no, I think. <laughs> Fair enough. But I think I always grew up with like female friendships around me ever since I was young because I was not allowed to have guy friends. Like even now, <laughs> mom, dad have never looked at a boy. I'm just I'm telling you already. <laughs> but it's just like it's been one of those things, right? And then like also after having great friendships during school and then coming on set and meeting all these incredible yeah. people, I think it transcended. That oh, it's a female friendship, but it was more so about like how every single one of them, as an individual, they're so incredible yeah. that it would have been inevitable in any setting for me. I feel like if I met any one of them. Yeah. And so I think the one thing that I take away from the show is all of these girls, and also the fact that's that the best thing to take away. Yeah, I think exactly. because eventually entertain them who are there. Yeah. Okay, but <laughs> you know, this is what stays yeah. as memories, and especially because for all of you, because this is your first. Yeah. That means a lot. Not Avantika, you. <laughs> She's looking at me like no, that. No, like, no, 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 no
you know the sense of commitment the sense of kind of wanting to kind of think of the larger Absolutely, picture in that yeah. sense and will just drive myself insane to achieve that and then of course no and also the fact that you've always been on the other side in a principal's office probably <laughs> <laughs> probably yes for sure i spent a lot yes, of time no in way. corridors in school no so it was way. a kick i'm going to play principal in a girl school yeah you know the, the inherently yeah yeah the bad girl is kind of like finally going to be heading the school i was like fine fantastic i loved it no but i all, i'm also curious to know like for example we all play flawed characters and it might be too early for the other actresses to say but for you i want to know where do you draw that boundary that okay she or he is flawed to a certain like the character is flawed we are all flawed uh, no but like for example the purpose in the narrative or to what extent are you okay playing a certain character because we have seen characters which are flawed but they really serve no purpose to the narrative in the larger sense true but i i think that like, if, if, if inherently we are all flawed and i think that women do not have to be caricatures and be either this or that mm. So I think that I, that the that grey area is where life actually exists, yeah. and uh, I think that's what Anita is. I mean, you hate her on occasion. I mean, I hated myself on occasion, and then you love her on occasion. But the point is, is she does what that's her that's her reality and that's her truth, and yeah. she lives out her truth like they all do yeah. in that sense. So I think that that's what we need more of. And I think interestingly, I must go back to what she said. That scene is all important. So I think that here lies the difference yeah. in the in the perception, in the approach, in the acting, and the genuine feeling. and that's what we need more of we need real role models for young girls people who struggle who fall and who here they are up. absolutely <laughs> right here you know everything is not about like oh my god how many followers do i have and am i glossed over and am i sexualized and am i this and am i that no i'm done with people whether they are 15 or they are 75 having all the answers yeah and no one really has nobody has the answers people. really yeah. nobody has the yeah. answers It's only I yeah. mean you you find out. So I think the show gropes and yeah. people they coming to their own conclusions. They're learning. They're falling. They're kind of you know and that's what friendships are. Yeah. Also, this word friend is the most abused term in the times <laughs> we live in. This word I will un unfriend you. I will block you. I will you follow you. I will un I unfollowed him. <laughs> yeah, like just like unfollow. करने से रिश्ता टूट जाता है. You know, या follow करने से रिश्ता बन जाता है. So these things I mean I take friendship very seriously. For me, my wealth. Are my friendships, and I would say I'm one of the richest people in the world in that regard. I mean, I because that's that's family you choose. Yeah. So I think what they've all achieved and hit on their first show is truly special because it does not happen easily. Yeah, business. and it's wonderful actually. Yeah. You, you nailed it by yeah. saying that because happen. I also wonder sometimes you meet someone for the first time and they're like, "We are friends." How? No. When? <laughs> when did we become friends? Yeah. Like, yeah. but I think this is something that we all will relate to the most because. today it's almost impossible to detach yourself completely from the social media opinions mm -hmm. that people have of you and now because you're entering this profession where your performance is going to be judged and there are of course once the show goes live people are going to comment as to what they liked or perhaps did not like about the show mm -hmm. are you have you sort of like i think you need to train yourself a bit mentally that you will read stuff because there's no it's impossible mm -hmm. not to but you will not let the negative things because sometimes people can be harsh sometimes uh, every time i'm being very very polite right <laughs> yeah. now yeah. but like you know uh, that it doesn't affect you because it can really pull you down and your confidence down and especially being the first project it can really affect you so what is the mantra now right now i mean i just find it really funny honestly i did i actually did my first project when i was really young i was like almost like 8 years old and it was like a really big film i played madhi dikshit's daughter and Recently, somebody came on my Instagram and commented on a post from another show that I did, and said, "You know, I just watched Aja Nachle, and I was watching this song, and you looked so masum, and you were such a baby, and now I feel so much shame looking at you in these clothes, shaming yourself, <laughs> oh. looking like I won't use the word." And I just looked at it. I was like, "What a small little life!" Yeah, absolutely. To live, to take the time out to come yeah. to a young woman's social media page who doesn't even have that many followers anyway. and spend the time to tell yeah. her she looks you know she's shaming herself because she's grown and she's doing different things so i look at it like that and also then you just have to laugh because if i actually took that on if i took every random comment from somebody coming from somewhere left right you know yeah. it would be a very long day a long life and i plan to be here for a very long time yeah. so you just have to laugh <laughs> i i think the show i think the show is about that it's about exactly. knowing who you are it's about at least trying to be it's it's at least 
trying to be close to knowing who you are and being comfortable with it. Yes. And I think that's that's a huge one of the bigger messages of the show. So I feel like if you know that, or if at least you're working towards that, because you never always have the answer. Yeah. yeah that that can take decades. Yeah. But if you are comfortable and if you have the people that you the right love, people to support yeah, you. And you will be fine. Through all of this, now this these comments and all of that, you'll be fine. Yeah. You just need to to, to have that sense of self. <coughs> yeah. I just wanted to say that Sorry, let me go for it. Say, 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 go for it. I do share that experience with the lion. So it's like I worked as a, as a child in Telugu film industry, and I just did a film now as an adult in America, and it had not even released in India, and I had seen all these like meme pages with like two hundred thousand likes, like commenting and showing this like picture of me when I was a baby, and like showing me now in like a really revealing outfit, and all these comments were filled with like. Trolls and like being so harsh and like picking apart everything I did, and I was just staring in like awe of the fact that I was like, I really thought that it 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 would be like all these people would be so happy to see somebody that looked like them on screen mm. rather than like complaining and picking apart mm. things like this. And so I think it's really easy, especially when you're consuming that much at such a mass level, to just be like, oh my god, like but your identity lies somewhere in between, and I think that. Genuinely, just not looking yeah. Yeah. so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, Turn your notifications <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. No, but I have to tell you, you looked amazing. Don't let anything bog you down Thank like you. that. Even if it does, even for a minute, don't. Because you should know. All of you should know that if there are some people who are throwing hate at you, there are more people that love you. <laughs> even if they don't have the voice or they cannot reach out to you on social media. You should know that there are more people who love than hate, and that is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, I think I don't have the time <laughs> because I've already got too many things. <laughs> But thank you so much. I hope that this show resonates with everyone. And like you said, the entire bottom line is that age doesn't define wisdom. Uh, eventually, I mean, you could be. Fifteen, you could be twenty, but you could still. You could be fifteen with very old thoughts, <laughs> and you could be seventy-five with the youngest thoughts. That's true. You know, so <laughs> I think really age has got nothing thought, to do yeah. with anything. Yeah. You know, not with wisdom, not with being very forward-thinking. Yes. But I think mm-hmm. please watch this show because I think that what it does is it sets the bar higher. It sets a standard for what friendships, especially female friendships, should be. Yeah, that is something. Hopefully, like they will aspire for this kind of bond. Yeah. Uh, I already lives. do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.